This method of inputting notes in Sibelius is called the QWERTY input method and it relies again on having the numeric keypad showing on the screen. If the numeric keypad isn't showing you can go to the view tab, panels group and there's a keypad there. You can turn it on and off from there. Now it's called the QWERTY method of input because we're going to use the QWERTY keyboard on the computer. That is your normal letters on the keyboard of the computer. And the way it works is as follows. It's all dependent on the fact that the keypad here is the same layout as the numeric keypad on your computer. If you look at your keyboard on the computer, over at the right hand side, if you're using a desktop, you will see the numeric keypad. And you'll see that the layout is the same. So for example, if I was to hit the number 4 on my numeric keypad here, without not on the screen, the actual numeric keypad, the crotchet is highlighted. Number 5 highlights the minimum. Number 6 highlights the semi-brief. 1, 2, 3. And you can also use it to highlight accidentals. And if you look up at the top, you have your accent is the forward slash, staccato is the asterisk or the star, and the tenuto is the dash. You can turn all these on and off and you can toggle between the notes. The zero gives you a rest, so if you want to input a crotchet rest, you would put a crotchet and then a zero. And the dot is a rhythm dot as opposed to a staccato dot. Make sure you're aware of the difference. So for example, if I wanted to input three beat note, would highlight a, a two beat note, so that's number five on the keypad, and the dot, the decimal point if you like. This dot up here is the staccato. This one at the bottom is the rhythm dot. So let's put that in practice. Personally speaking, I tend to put the first note in using the mouse. You don't have to, there are other ways you can do it, but I tend to do it this way. So I'm just going to show you that method of doing it. Once you've got that and you've got your blue line, you'll, you'll recognise this from the mouse input methods video. The blue line means that you're going to carry on putting more notes in. So for example, my next note is going to be a minimum. So I just hit number five on the numeric keypad and it changes there, and I can just type the note name that I want. So the next note, for example, is going to be a D, so I type the letter D. Change it to a crotchet, type the letter F. Change it to quavers, C, B, A, B. Change it to a minimum, G. One thing to be aware of is I want my next note to be an E above that, so I would select the note value and type E. It gives me the wrong one because Sibelius will always give you the note nearest the previous note. Now to change that up an octave, I could either use the up and down arrows on my keyboard or I can use the control and up and down, up and down arrows to move an octave at a time. And I can just carry on from there. So the next note, for example, is going to be a quaver rest. So I put the number three and then the number zero and it immediately gives me the rest. And you notice that the rest has now been deselected on the keypad. So I can now carry on with another quaver. Um, let's do that. If I next, my next note is going to be a crotchet C sharp, I would do the crotchet then the sharp then the C in the same order that I did it when I was just using the mouse. You pick the note value, you pick any accidentals, you pick any articulations, and then you tell it what note it is. In this case, I'll make it a B, and that makes it a B flat. Undo the accent, then an A, and then a G. Of course, when you're finished, remember, you always hit escape twice to deselect 
and everything's set. Once you've got the notes in, like so, you can always go back and edit them. So I can select that note and make it a flat, either by using the on-screen keypad or just by changing by using the, the physical keypad. I can change it, for example, to be a quaver by using the keypad there and escape to fix it. One trick it's handy to be aware of is if you have to, for example, input a lot of quaver, quaver, rest, quaver, quaver, rest, quaver, quaver, rest, sometimes it's easier and quicker to input them as crotchets. I'm just typing C, D, C, D, C, D. I don't see a minimum, a semi brief there. Escape. I can then select all these crotchets, like so, and hit the number 3 on the numeric keypad, which is a quaver, and it changes them to quavers and quaver rests. Sometimes that's quicker than inputting them all individually. There are lots of these wee tricks that you learn as you get more proficient with Sibelius. But that is the basic technique for using the QWERTY input method of inputting notes into Sibelius. Some people find this method the most time efficient and the most efficient way to input notes because it becomes very much like word processing for music. You have your right, your right hand covering the numeric keypad. And if you think about it, the letters A to G for the note names are all over on the left-hand side of the keyboard. So your left hand types the note names. So if you have a numeric keypad, it very often is one of the quickest ways to input notes into Sibelius.